Welcome back to British Yawase. It's Ari here again. I um, recently went to Asia on a trip to see my grandma and my family and I also ended up going to Okinawa with my best friend Claire as well as Seoul. So it was a three city trip and I went for about 10 days total but the first day and the last day were really all for traveling because it just takes so long to get from New York to Asia. But I had so much fun and it was so worth it. I had the best time seeing my parents in Japan and also my grandma who is about 90 years old and she's out there on this island called Hakadajima. And then um, I went to Okinawa and Seoul with my friend Claire um, and came back here to New York. So I'm back here now. But um, this first video is about Hakadajima, which is the first city I went to where my grandma lives. And I'm so excited to kind of take you through what I did over there. It's such a cute small island that no one really knows about. So I love that it's kind of a lesser known destination, but it's so beautiful. And there's actually a lot to do out there. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Good morning! It's day one in Japan, actually more like day two because I landed around 12.30 p.m. last yesterday. Um, but I'm here at my grandma's place in Hakatajima. It's a small island in Ehime prefecture and I am so excited to be here. We got into Kansai Airport around 12.30 yesterday, my mom and I, and then um, we had to take the Shinkansen over to um, Osaka and Osaka to uh, this place Fukushima in close to Hiroshima and then we had to take another bus to get to my grandma's place. It's, it was quite a day. I was traveling for about 30 hours straight. Um, so needless to say we got in around like 7 p.m. We had dinner with my grandma and then I just passed out. So I didn't really talk um, much or vlog much yesterday um, but today is my first full day here I'm so excited my dad is here as well so I'm with my mom my dad and my grandma we're going to go see some cherry blossoms today um, and I think we're going to go see some relatives and then have some good sushi so it's gonna be a good day <laughs> and there were too many people waiting for the cherry blossoms, so we're going somewhere else first. Where are we going? Buy something. <laughs> we're going shopping instead, and then we're going to the temple. Right, mommy? <laughs>
After the temple, we went to Marine Oasis, which is the main shopping center in Hakatajima. We had lunch and we met up with one of my dad's cousins, which was really nice. And we had some traditional Hakatajima food as well as soft ice cream, which is soft cream, soft serve. And they had this delicious matcha and salt flavored soft serve, which was so good. Definitely a must eat when you're on the island because Hakatajima is known for its salt. So we're going to Imabari to hang out and walk around, see what we find. After running some errands and doing a little bit of shopping, our last stop in Imabari was to go to Kiro-san Observatory Park, which is on Oshima Island, one of the islands that are part of the Ehime Shimanami um, collection of islands, which my grandma's island is part of. So we went to the top of this observatory and it was so cool. You get a 360 degree view of the islands around you. It was super windy and a little foggy that day, but you could see the bridge and it was just a really nice way to end the day and walk around and it wasn't too crowded because it wasn't the nicest day, which was kind of nice. We got to kind of have the place to ourselves. To end the day, we went to my favorite restaurant on Hakatajima. It's called Umegahana and it's a delicious sushi restaurant. It overlooks the water and they have just the most fresh sashimi and traditional Japanese dishes you can find on the island. It's a must go if you're there. Good morning! It's day three in Japan. Last night we went to a really good sushi restaurant and I just ate so much food and passed out so I didn't really vlog. Um, but today we're going to first go on a quick walk. My dad and I are going to just kind of walk around the island for a bit. And then my mom's going to meet us up and we're going to go to Hirakiyama, which is a viewpoint in Hakatajima. It's supposed to be really beautiful now at Cherry Blossom, so I'm super excited. We tried to go yesterday, but it was so crowded because it was Sunday, and I guess a lot of people came from out of town for it because it's like the last full week of Cherry Blossom. So super excited to see that today. It rained last night, and it's super nice outside and clear, so it's gonna be great. And then we're going to go to Matsuyama, which is kind of like the big city, the biggest city in Ehime Prefecture, which is the prefecture that my grandma lives in. So I've never been to Matsuyama. We're just gonna walk around and eat lunch there and then see what we find, maybe do a little shopping. So I'm super excited for the day. I'm gonna get going now and I'll catch up with you later. Just went to Okira Beach. <laughs> ne, Daddy. Mm. <laughs> I took a mikan from the tree. It's fresh from Hakatajima.
Our first stop in Matsuyama was to get lunch at Soso. It was a restaurant that's known for having dishes with a lot of vegetables and it was so good. Definitely one of the best meals I had during my trip. We're at Matsuyama Castle now, and it's quite a walk to go up the slope. There's also a cable car option and this like little ropeway thing, but it looked a bit sketchy, so we're walking up instead. There's so many cherry blossoms and it's so pretty right now. All right, so there you have it. That was my trip to Hakatajima, and I hope you enjoyed. It was so good to see my grandma, and you know, growing up, I really, really got to see her because she was always far away. I lived mostly in Singapore and Hong Kong, and she was always in Japan. And then when I went to college in Oregon, here in the U.S., it was even harder to see her because I had no money. I was college kid and didn't really go out to see her in Japan and so now that I'm working in, in New York and have you know my own income to travel with I really try to go and see her as much as I can and it was just so valuable to do that and to also have time with my parents it's always so nice to see them and catch up and it's never enough time but it was so nice to go and spend a couple days with all of them so i hope to go back very soon um, but i hope you enjoyed this video if you've ever been to hakatajima or anywhere in the ahime prefecture please let me know and comment below i'm also going to be putting in the description box the places that i went to some of these places i'm going to try very hard to find website like links online for you to check out but um yeah hopefully you learned something and you enjoyed um, please let me know where you'd like to see me go next in the comments below as well and if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by i hope you liked my video and please subscribe if you enjoyed it or give this a thumbs up and in my next video i will be taking you through okinawa japan so i can't wait to show you what i did there see you soon bye as I was editing this video, I realized that I didn't have any clips with my grandma in them. I think I was just so focused on spending time with her in real life that I didn't think about shooting video. But here's a picture of all of us together, and I cherish every moment I had with her.